either is endoluminal abdominal aortic aneurysm repair or non-surgical repair of the abdominal aortic aneurysm with a stent graft. For a long time, the only treatment available for abdominal aortic aneurysm was surgery, which was performed in the hospital under general anesthesia. Since 1970s, a significantly less invasive procedure was introduced that is called EVAR, or endovascular repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm. This procedure can be done without general anesthesia, without abdominal incision, with a femoral artery introduction of a stent graft that can exclude the abdominal aortic aneurysm as effectively as surgery. This procedure is particularly beneficial for individuals that are at high risk of general anesthesia, such as patients with various heart conditions and also lung diseases. PIVAR is a minimally invasive approach to abdominal aortic aneurysm repair, and it stands for percutaneous endovascular abdominal aortic aneurysm repair. This uh, technique was described and practiced by us for the last 27 years, where the procedure is performed with local anesthesia, percutaneous access to the femoral artery, and non-surgical repair of the arteries in the groin or femoral arteries. This approach is much better tolerated by patients with other serious heart conditions and elderly. Most of the patients with this procedure stay in the hospital only overnight and can return to normal daily activities in a few days after the procedure. EVAR and PVAR can be, nowadays, safely performed in a cardiac cath lab rather than in the operating room. The duration of the procedure with this approach is less than one hour versus four hours or more for the surgical abdominal aortic aneurysm repair. As stated previously, the advantages are many, but the most important ones are no need for general anesthesia, no major incisions, shorter procedure, less bleeding and less need for blood transfusions, less cardiac and lung complications, shorter hospital stay, less wound infections, and early return to a normal lifestyle. There are a few disadvantages to this approach. The EVER devices have undergone a major improvement since their introduction in the 1970s, when the procedure was first performed. Current generation EVA devices are well tested with very durable long-term outcomes. A significant number of patients are now good candidates for this procedure, but some of them are not. It is a general consensus among experienced EVAR and PVAR operators that the great majority of EVAR patients require at least annual follow-up, a doctor's office, and imaging to assure the good long-term results of EVAR and PVAR. If you are interested in any additional information or you would like to schedule an appointment, please contact the Texas Heart Institute Center for Cardiovascular Care.